Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel with the new lecture. Guys, first of all, how are you everybody? Are you okay? I hope everybody will be fine. Yes, of course. Guys, today topic is the most important topic in civil engineering related with construction site and formations. If you are working as a site supervisor on construction site or to get experience on construction site, so uh, this is the most important topic for you people so therefore you must watch this video from start to end then you're able to learn something new related with construction site and formation so let's start if this video is helpful for you so for my motivation you must like this video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon if you are new but this is the most important topic related with construction site so you can say this is tips yes tips okay guys you can see nowadays the first point many labors and mason they provide pvc pipe inside rcc column the column may be rectangular square or circular so this is a big mistake in civil engineering especially on construction site so if you are working as a site supervisor or uh, to get experience so you should have to tell a mason that don't provide pvc pipes first don't provide pvc pipes okay in rcc column okay don't provide PVC pipes or rainy pipes, rainy water pipes and circular column or square or anyone. But the pipes should be not uh, provide inside RCC column. Our electrical pipes should also not be provided. Okay. Especially you can see guys nowadays uh, about sanitary work. Okay. Uh, many uh, sanitary work uh, during sanitary work they provide PVC pipes for sanitary inside the beam okay so it can lost the strength so please don't provide PVC pipes inside RCC column right this is the first point second guys about shuttering okay the spacing of shuttering support the spacing of shuttering supports should not be more than what two feet okay as you can see like this is a shuttering farm work okay and we provide here supports okay so the spacing of supports should not be more than two feet okay it should not be more than two feet okay two feet is okay otherwise it will make bending uh, and slip okay during pouring concrete okay this is the other point so you should have remembered this third point guys if you have plinth beam structure design so it's okay if you don't have structure design especially for plinth beam okay so depth of plinth beam should not be less than 12 inches okay or 30 centimeters it must be 12 inches okay or depth of beam should be more than its width as you can see guys this is a beam okay if the Width of the beam is 9 inches, so the depth must be 12 inches. Okay? 
especially plant beam right so if you've structured design so it's okay so if you don't have so in that case the depth of the beam should not be less than 12 inches now guys come to its reinforcement details okay fourth steel detail for plant beam okay guys use minimum okay use minimum at the bottom bottom steel bars okay that should be not less than 12 mm okay and the top should not be less than 10 mm this is the most important okay now guys come to its stirrup okay so the stirrup dia should be not less than 6 mm this is the other point okay now guys you can see its hooks the hooks length should be 90 where it is die of steel bar which is 6 mm for example and the hooks should be bent with 135 degree this is the most important point the hooks should be bent with 135 degree right this is the other point especially on construction side okay now guys the fifth point is that is rcc column rcc column size should be should not be less than 9 by 9 inches or 0 0.75 by 0 0.75 feet size of the column should not be less than 9 by 9 inches okay so in the case of blocks concrete blocks in the case of blocks okay because the block size especially in india in pakistan that is six inches okay the block size is uh, its width okay which is six inches okay from the thickness the uh, the block wall thickness is six inches okay so in this case you should have provide nine inch column not six inch column because six inch column cannot support the structure load okay this is very important for you people to know about this point okay now guys point number six that is okay that is lapping length specially lapping length okay the lapping length should not be provided lapping length should not be provided in rcc column okay at the mid as you can see for example this is a total 12 feet height for example okay so it should not be provided at the mid lapping length should not be provided at the mid point okay okay between the mid and top as you can see this is top this is bottom okay so these are called zone at the zone it should also be not provide and at the mid it should not be provide so where we can provide between top and mid here we can provide if that is at the base or at the top but not to provide at the midpoint also same in the slab okay also one point guys especially in rcc slab the lapping length should not be provided at the end of the support support is column because it makes cracks because there are more shear stresses okay so you can provide lapping length after l by 4 for example if the length of the slab is 20 feet so l by 4 mean 5 feet so after 5 feet we can provide but not on the 10 feet 10 feet is the mid as you can see guys let me discuss 
this is guys slab okay and this is steel bar its length is for example 20 feet so l by 4 means 20 by 4 so it become 5 feet so here we should not provide lapping length here and here we should not provide this is 5 feet this is also 5 feet right and this is met also don't provide here lapping length so the lapping length should be provided here or here so therefore the lapping length should not be provided at the mat and lapping length should not be provided at the end of the support but lapping length should be provided after l by 4 which is the best place to provide lapping length okay and other point okay there is especially also for lapping length okay the lapping length this uh, the lapping length should not be less than 50 d where d is die of steel bar okay for example if you are using uh, 20 mm dia okay so 20 mm dia 50 multiply 20 mm okay then it will give us lapping length this is the other point okay now guys what is the seventh point on construction site okay that is guys especially in shuttering okay sometime when we place the shuttering so during uh, between okay between the shuttering there are spaces okay so use plaster use plaster tape on the joints of shuttering use plaster tape otherwise it will make bleeding okay and bleeding is a danger for concrete okay guys now come to the eight number tip or point that is about concrete remember guys use minimum m20 grade concrete m20 grade concrete for slab beam and column this is the very important m20 I've already discussed in many videos what is M, M stand for mix. So this is related with uh, design mix. Okay, so M20, guys, the M20 ratio is M20. Okay, for concrete, that is one ratio, 1.5 ratio three, where one is cement, 1.5 sand, uh, and three is crush or aggregate. Use minimum M20 grade of concrete for beam, column, and slab to get good strength. Okay so more people i saw them they are using m15 which is one two four okay but sometimes they also don't mix one two four maybe they are doing m10 but this is the best one to get a good strength for slab beam and column okay so guys uh, i can't erase so these are the most eight points which i've discussed the front of you and i will try to make uh, the second video of this part uh, especially uh, on construction site okay so if you have any question related with this topic so you can comments and i will try to reply your answer if i am free okay so thanks for watching see you in the next video goodbye